here we are, back with Steve. Hello, mate. Good to see Hello, you. Howard. <laughs> Good to see you again. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Excellent. Fine. You finished it. This is the US Missouri. We've we've shot this before. In fact, what I'll do is somewhere up there, I will put a little link to the original video so you can watch that and you can see the progress that you've made. You really have made some magnificent progress and, and it does look finished. Is it finished? It is now completely finished, yes. And I started exhibiting it last year. Fantastic. And since I last saw it, you've got what looks like wooden boards down on the, uh, on the, on the that's, deck. That's right. So each uh, deck strip was um, hand painted to look like wood for yeah. the grain effect, yeah. which I'm, I'm very pleased with it's come out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and um, I've that it's an entire hull, apart from a viewing window, which only you can see from this side. Indeed. We'll, we'll get the camera yeah. around here in a second. We'll have a look inside. Because I remember you, you had the ability to be able to drop the back end and, and show people how all of the yeah, um, I, gears how, and cogs for the drive shafts connected up. And that's how it still goes together, although it doesn't hinge down now. I, I, I pull things in parallel. Okay. Uh, because when I put the skin on, the skin would get in the way. Right. So now it just slots together. Right, okay, excellent. So that's how you transport it then. You're yep. able to go ahead and, and effectively yep. chop it up by undoing very specific bolts that you've marked with black. That's when I want to dismantle certain parts, like take the deck plates off, yes, the black headed bolts tell me which ones to undo, and that releases the deck panels. Similar things for the side panels. And there are other places on here which if I undo specific bolts which are marked in black, I can dismantle the superstructure. And, and where was, uh, for, for those that aren't American and don't perhaps know the USS Missouri, where was the US Missouri uh, in, in action? It was launched in 1944, so it wasn't a Pearl Harbor, uh, but it did serve in the Second World War against the, uh, the Japanese fleet in the South Pacific. Okay. And on the deck right there is where the, the Japanese signed the Declaration of Surrender. Okay. Then it saw action in the Korean War and both Gulf Wars. Yeah. Because they removed some of the guns and replaced them with cruise missile silos. Uh, so it's seen a, a very long, illustrious service. Indeed. And it's now it's in um, Pearl Harbor again as a museum. It's a, it's a museum piece in Pearl, Pearl Harbor. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is magnificent, mate, and, and congratulations on your completion. You've got it beautifully lit up here at the London Model Engineering yeah, that, that's Exhibition. Yeah, courtesy of, courtesy of West London Meccano Society, who are hosting me, because I'm from the South West Meccano Society. Okay, very kind, very kind. But, and did you say that um, you took it to um, Skegness? Yeah, um, shortly after I finished it, I took it to a large Meccano modelling exhibition in Skegness, uh, and I was very fortunate <laughs> to win first prize. Well, you absolutely deserve it. If you want to see more of Steve's USS Missouri Meccano build, uh, then please go ahead and click the link at the end. And uh, there's, a, there's a whole other video that you can watch about this magnificent piece of work that, uh, that has been done. Cheers, mate. Thank Thanks you so, very much. so much. Good to see you again. And you. Take care. Bye for now. Steve, hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Sorry for making you talk into a tribble. With you, the trouble with tribbles, exactly. Are you responsible for this? Yeah, for my sins. This yes. is absolutely magnificent. Is it entirely Meccano? It is entirely genuine Meccano, apart from the gun barrels, which I had turned myself. Right. And the little electric motors from China, which are great little things, because yeah, the yeah. Meccano ones were too underpowered. And I really apart didn't. Apart from that, it yeah. was all, all genuine Meccano. Fantastic. What, what people can't see on the other side of here, maybe we'll get the camera around here in a moment, is you've got a control panel with uh, uh, what looks like a SCART connector on it and lots of plugs yeah. and switches, giving you the ability to be able yeah. to uh, activate some of these motors and, and that kind yeah, of just stuff. Just ordinary so. motors, batteries, hardwired, mm -hmm. just ordinary switches. No, no computing or the SCART yeah. cable isn't sending signals, it's just yeah, using yeah. that. It's just, it's, it's just, just, a, electrical, just yeah, electrical connections. Yeah. yeah, 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 fantastic. How long approximately did it take you to put this together? So far, it's about six years. Six years, uh, yeah. I reckon about six months to finish it. Right. Because I'm now doing the cladding, the whole cladding around the outside. So the okay. hard part's done, which we'll oh, see right. here. Oh, so, right, so, so there's more to do then. You're yeah, actually yeah, yeah. going to put together uh, the hull of this ship, are the you? Entire hull. There must have been loads of challenging bits, but what was the, the most challenging bit of this? This, of this build? Um, the most challenging, probably the logistics of making sure I could put it together and take it apart in modules. Yes. Because yeah. you can't transport something like this 
in one piece. Right. 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 So it's actually in four discrete sections. The okay. structure lifts off. You say it, that lifts it, it, off. It's just held there by gravity. Right. Just yeah. lifts off. Yeah. And all the mechanical connections disconnect as I lift off. I'm going to show you how easy it is to take this apart. Okay. Okay. So just quickly then, what Steve's done is he's turned off all of the motors and all the drive systems, so nothing's moving. And then what are you going to do, Steve? Show you how it comes apart very quickly. Okay. Oh, and then it. Oh, look and at that. Pull out two bottom oh, pins. Oh wow! And all of these gears and right. cogs in here. Now, now those cogs are whirring down be, in and here. And that would be turning yeah. propeller shafts. That is engine. really, really, really innovative design Jump work. Down. Yeah, good stuff. Good as a kid I got um, a Meccano set from my grandfather and I must admit I, I played around with it you know I made stuff out of it maybe some small cranes and that kind of stuff never actually dreamed that you could put something together as complex as this yeah. with it. It's shows the versatility on it. <laughs> Steve thank you so much that's absolutely fantastic what a great piece of artwork and what a wonderful piece of engineering yeah. as well thank you very much yeah. cheers.